I like to see how things are made and what they're made from and I like to see the underneath of things. My name's Marion Parker and I'm a textiles conservator. I'm working on the last emperor costumes at the moment and so I'm just helping stabilise them for a display at Acme. Because as a conservator I'm more involved with the longevity of the object and the material stability of the object. They were made for the f by the film industry, they weren't made to last. Things like the shoulder pads, they're made to look like they're bronze but they're not bronze. This is screen printed, it's not embroidered. If you have a look at the surface, it's actually got quite a plasticky sort of feel and appearance. But in the film, you'd never see that, you wouldn't see the detail. The colourful nature of them is part of the point of the display, or the animated nature of them, so I'm trying to introduce a bit of animation into the underpinnings, so to try and imagine that there's a body under there moving. Getting the shape right, that's a lot of it, is to try and get the silhouette correct, because these have been folded in boxes for a number of years. So I work in with the curator about what kind of stories they want to tell and, and what level of damage they would like to see. If it's part of the history of the object. The Imperial Guard costume, he kept splitting his trousers from leaping. <laughs> and you see all these splits because he had a really active part. People wore stuff and, and broke it and sat on it and ate their, ate their lunch in it. And I actually think that's probably what you want to see. If you take that out of the story, you've lost a bit, haven't you?